that was a spectacular interview with uh, Mark Andrews and Pete Dunn. And now it's time to talk to the man, more about IWC, who conducted that interview. Riz, how was Retro Reunion? First of all, that was one of the worst introductions I have ever received. <laughs> Now that I'm now that I am an interviewer for Sorgatron Media, I should earn some more oh, jam. Oh, you're big time sir. now. That's how it happens. Yes, how it happens. I am. But yeah, uh, since I'm not going to get that uh, that stellar introduction by Wrestle Bitch over there, um, I did see the uh, retro reunion as. Eamon was talking about, of course, and I gotta tell you, it was one of the better shows I've seen in a while. Okay, like, and and that's saying much because I don't go out that often to see shows. <laughs> so, can, sorry, you got me outside. Okay. Uh, no, but seriously, um, the the first of all, I gotta say, Paul London blow, blew my mind. Uh, if he opened the show, left for B- PWX, uh, and then went or to no. X, no, okay. shut your mouth. I, didn't, I thought I didn't know it was a PWX. And then he went to Prime Wrestling. Oh, okay. Three shows in two days. That man is a monster. Uh, Not to mention, he, he did a I, seminar in Cleveland the night before. Mm-hmm. And uh, there is something about watching him work in the ring. is It's, it's fantastic. Uh, but going to the matches itself, um, Aiden, there was a lot of injuries and no-shows. Uh, Chuck did come out and explain, like, uh, Aiden Vale got hurt, who was replaced by Paul... Paul London for We Are Rockstars, who took on the British dudes and won. And uh, Egotistico Fantastico, whatever his name is. Egotistico Fantastico. It doesn't matter because he (laughs) no-showed. Well, not only did he (laughs) no-show, he did text Chuck apparently the day before. he, He texts Chuck once. Yeah. And then nothing. Yeah. So, good for him. Yeah. Uh, and, and, so and, he's and really I egotistical, averageo. Yeah, mm. and all around, but, it did feel like the show came out better than advertised. Yes, because of because of the because of the card subject to change, you still had you still had facade. You still had we. Uh, who's the other guy? And we, we are rock, rock stars. Jordan here? Lennox. Or Jordan yeah. Lennox. You had him, and. You also had the first time ever in Pittsburgh, Shima Zion versus uh, Facade, and it was that that match blew my mind. It was I, it was it was great, and another match that was pretty good too. Uh, my new best friend Dalton Castle got, is is getting his rematch with uh, John McChesney after beating Dennis Gregory, who I, who, who, when I saw those two wrestle, they, they are like mere images of each other. Kind of. And here's why they both are loud wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Like they don't need a microphone to talk. Am I correct? Sorg? We're talking about Fish and McChesney? No, 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 no. I'll, oh, I'll get to Fish and McChesney in a little bit. Okay. I'm talking about Castle and uh, Gregory. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're definitely they're definitely very loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you, you have to turn the mic up. And unfortunately, I wish we had better <clears throat> ambient mics on everything to catch all of it. And usually the um, announcers are reacting to it. There was one part in the match, in the beginning of the match... Where Dalton Castle points to Dennis Gregory and says, he made me twerk. 
just can let that sink in there. Uh, and which responded at the end of the night, at the end of the, of the match, uh, Dalton Castle was upside down twerking himself. Am I, I, I again? Am I wrong on that on that statement, sir? No, no, that's about right. All right, and uh, there was not one bad match on that card. Mm-hmm. And also, Jimmy Corderas was there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who ate a soft pretzel. <laughs> Very nice. That soft that is all you need delicious. to know. This, this, uh, but he. He did referee a match. Uh, which match? It was a Gregory Dalton one, I believe. Oh, the Gregory Dalton one, yeah. Yeah, that's right, because he said, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, but going back to Fish and McChesney, mm-hmm. Bobby Fish is amazing. He is, he, he's awesome. Uh, for, he, he, came, he came out to a swing version of uh, Like a Virgin. Very nice. Uh, and the match itself, I thought it was just going to be, you know, finger poke of doom, one, two, three, done. But the two put on an awesome match. And it showed that John McChesney is one of the bright features in this wrestling game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it always impresses me. I always hate the uh, the situations where like the, the the heel goes out and they're talking and wasting time and everything. But when it involves Bobby Fish and when Bobby Fish was teaming with McChesney and everything, mm-hmm. it's always entertaining. Again, kind of the sa- same same as your uh, Castle and, and Dennis Gregory before, where they're talking with the mm-hmm. crowd. It, it's just that talking moment brings the fans in mm-hmm. to that match and makes them part of it mm-hmm. and that i can't like i said i can't think of a bad match on that show yeah and that and again that is without egotistico fantastica mm-hmm. that is without aiden vale that's without there's another there was a third one who was injured i forget who that was oh jimmy nuts got hurt during during uh, yeah. their tag match jimmy uh, nuts yeah he was uh the returning arrow form which is uh flimp kendrick mm-hmm. and i Sorry, Lewis Linden. Lewis Linden. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, they, they, uh, one of the guys flipped out on top of him. We actually completely missed it on the cameras. It was so fast, uh, mm. and we had no idea it was coming. Uh, and I think he caught him wrong and put all oh, the weight yeah, on one that's knee. Right. Uh, so I know he was seeing a doctor, and he was, it looked like on, on his Facebook he said he was having trouble standing on it the next day. So, But mm. awesome mm. show, and, and hey, we it were was- Brilliant, and we're going to have some fun interviews coming up from that. Uh, Sorg, yeah. can I just say thank you for putting me on this team, on that team for this show? No problem. Man. I, I would have probably not gone to this show, mm-hmm. and now I would regret it if I didn't go. <laughs> so awesome. buy it on SorgatronMedia.com. Yes, there'll be a buy it me. when you come in at, uh, uh, at any IWC show. Mm-hmm. Buy it if we buy a table. Buy it on a box. Buy it with a fox. Jeez. <laughs> buy it on a boat. Watch it with a goat. Awesome. Well, also, you know, there's also I I get to talk about this one because I actually wasn't involved with this show. I, I was I was simply there uh, to mm-hmm. shoot some interviews uh, for another project. Uh, but Resolution again, we talked about it in the past. Not at the Nautica like it has been in the past, so it didn't have. Uh, I don't think it had as big of a feel as it has because of the venue change. Uh, but I think it's scheduling, I don't know what all went into it being this late in the season. Obviously, they're not going to have it outside of the Nautica in the middle of October. Uh, it'd be ridiculous right now. Uh, so I was at this complex over in, whoops, wrong way, uh, over in Parma, Ohio. And there's a shot at the end of the show with John, uh, Johnny Gargano actually thanking everybody. And there's like half the roster out there with him. Uh, actually, I think he invited the entire roster out there. Uh, a great show, uh, a lot of buildup. Again, stuff I hadn't been following leading up to it. But they had a big kind of uh, war for the company kind of thing. At best, two out of three of the matches. Uh, respect to Zach Gowan and Greg... Greg Iron, the handicapped heroes, coming out to the weird back song from the Ghostbusters 2 soundtrack. Um, that that was pretty cool. Uh, so first half was mostly that situation. Second half, 
Uh, and this was on iPay-Per-View, and you actually can still go get it. Information's over at primewrestling.com. I recommend it. It was a really good match. Again, Johnny McChez, or sorry, Johnny Gargano against Paul London. Uh, if you liked what you saw in that, that uh, opening match there at IWC, you would love how this is. And I really wish we could get our hands on being able to see uh, the London versus Gory one, but I, last I checked, PWX isn't very good about the videos. They have TV, but it's not really that great. Uh, last I knew, I don't know if anything's been updated since, um, but uh, a killer match. Rhino was there in, a, in the main event against uh, uh, Crimson. Uh, a, a classic hardcore match, actually, uh, so it was nice to see. I got a really interesting picture. <laughs> you guys probably get a kick out of this. I know I did. Uh, where uh, You ever get, like, a hardcore match in one corner and girl one corner of a picture and girls volleyball in the other because mm. that's what's happening there um I, yeah i guess one of the practices had to start or something out off that's why they have them cordoned off but uh but no really great show prime wrestling is is definitely a, a one of the premier companies uh, in the area uh and, and 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 they do a lot to make things feel big um you know we talk about how tna has the problem making things feel big and special i think iwc prime wrestling and that's why we keep going back to it because it does feel like a big thing so i know i know you wanted me to go to uh, a re- resolution before yeah when it was outside yeah i think yeah and but was bummed because i didn't go because mm-hmm. of all the things that happened and i w- would have wanted to go if i if hindsight was 2020. I do recommend, uh, I believe all, if most if not all of the resolutions should be available through Prime Wrestling or Smartmark Video. Uh, and they're all really, really good super cards if, if you ever want to go back for them. Uh, now, Eamon, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Actually, I saw a video about what's going on in your neck of the woods. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, stuff happened this weekend. Uh, fun stuff. Uh, I was at three events this weekend because I'm crazy. And yes, Texas wrestling are. is apparently something. Uh, but no, I went to uh, Friday and Saturday. I went to the two uh, NWA New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Shows, oh, the cool. Invasion events uh, in Humble, Texas, uh, right outside of Houston, and then in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, those were pretty spectacular. You mentioned uh, uh, getting to see a hardcore match right next to a girls' volleyball game, Sorg. Yeah. I went to yeah. a wrestling show on Friday that had Jushin Thunder Liger in one uh, room. The other room had a quinceanera. A what? A quinceanera. It's a traditional... 16th birthday party. 15. Yes, 15. Whatever. It's a, How do you guys whatever. Know it's this? a Texas thing. It's a Texas thing. No. It's a Mexican thing. It's a sweet 15th birthday party from for Mexican girls. Oh. And you learn... Sorg learns something new every day. Hey. Uh, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, that was super fun because uh, I got to meet Jushin Thunder Liger, and that was insane. Um, all the talent was awesome uh, from New Japan Pro Wrestling. They got flown in. Uh, there was a really great sh- uh, both nights of uh, shows for uh, NWA Houston and NWA Brandon L. All Wrestling. I had a fun time. I uh, got to uh, hang with a lot of cool people and just you know cheer for wrestling, and it was it was great <laughs> stuff. And there you see a photo with uh... – <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, just looking at that and seeing how uncomfortably you're posing right there. Oh, absolutely. And then what do I realizing... Do with my hands? Everybody's pointing at me. Who do I point to? Exactly. <laughs> and why is, this no, random, no. why is this random table hanging out in front of you guys? Because that's where they were. Because that's a Japanese table. Crop, never that, breaks. crop that shit down. Yeah. But no, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was intimidated because, you know, Japanese legends are like inches away from me and it was it was pretty crazy it was awesome it was a really awesome time you didn't have enough hands to jerk him off uh, i couldn't if i did, if i wanted to i couldn't get through the suit come on wow that, that turned weird all right moving on please M- moving on and then on sunday before i talk about more about jerking off japanese wrestling legends um I went to uh, Anarchy Championship Wrestling's October event, Beyond Good and Evil, their Halloween show. That was a really fun show. Uh, a lot of great wrestling on that show. Uh, ACH and Davey Vega had a phenomenal contest that really was a match of the year candidate. Uh, a lot of really interesting stuff happening in ACW. Uh, they got a couple events coming up in November. They will be a part of Fun 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 Fest, which is the big music 
comedy and uh, other crazy stuff festival that happens in Austin, Texas. Uh, three nights. Uh, it should be really awesome stuff. Uh, and then they also have the Lone Star Classic, which is their big tournament that they hold every year, uh, also in November. So there's tons of stuff going on. And if you want to check them out and go support them, you can go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com to get more information on them. But let's not talk about the stuff that we're a part of anymore. Damon, or did we're you dress going up? To. I'm sorry? Did you dress up for that show? Uh, I did not. Because I. Why not? Poor. <laughs> Why not? Costumes are expensive. Haven't you seen they're like, very budget ninja expensive. costume? Costumes are not I, and honestly, I, your creative I, and I will say there is an Everybody awesome photo. There is an awesome photo somewhere on my Facebook page that maybe Thor can find uh, of me with a costume that I think stole the night, which was uh, Brandon Stroud's Zeb Coulter outfit, which was phenomenal. Well, I got. I I have to disagree. I at the IWC show. There was two guys dressed up, two very large men. One was dressed up as the Macho Man. Mm. It didn't really look like the Macho Man very well. But the other guy that was there was dressed as Psycho Sid. Hmm? He had short shorts and everything. Mm. Blonde wig, Sid shirt, jean jacket. Yeah, jean jacket and very, very, very short shorts. By the way, here's a picture of the Zeb Coulter uh, costume if you're on video. Okay, that wins. And if you see the <laughs> caption, it says, I'm ecstatic and also racially intimidated. Yes, Racially you are. intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. But yeah, uh, so besides that stuff, there are shows that are happening this weekend that I think you should check out. Cool. Um, I, and it's going to be some really big stuff. I know there was a lot of indie wrestling events this weekend, besides the ones we talked about even. Shimmer had tapings. Uh, there was tons of, like I meant, uh, Jess mentioned that she went to PWG. So there's tons of stuff that happened last weekend. This weekend, there's going to be some great stuff too. Uh, Ring of Honor is holding their Glory by Honor 12 event in Chicago Ridge, Illinois, on October 26th, which is Saturday. Uh, they're having a big uh, Champions versus All-Stars eight-man tag match. This should be very fun. Uh, a lot of great uh, stuff on that card. If you want more information on that, you can go to ROHwrestling.com. And if you're in the Chicago area, go check them out. Go support Ring of Honor Wrestling. Um, and also, if you're not in the Midwest area, but you are in the South, particularly Florida, uh, Shine Wrestling is holding an event October 25th in Ybor City, Florida at the Orpheum. Uh, should be really fun stuff. A lot of the talent that was at Shimmer this past weekend will also be at Shine, uh, including a lot of the Japanese talent. The main event, Rain, defending Giant Championship against Hiroyo Matsumoto, which should be very fun. Uh, there's a lot of great talent, really stacked card for that event. So if you want more information on that to get tickets or also to order the iPay-Per-View for this event, you can go to ShineRestling.com and go support them. So, yeah, there's wrestling happening all over the independent wrestling world. And I do want to uh, also mention, if you are in an area where indie wrestling is happening, if you go to indie wrestling shows, if you found out about an indie wrestling show and you think that we should talk about it here on the Indie Minute, send that information for the indie wrestling show to goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com, and we'll talk about it on the show. Excellent. And in the meantime, other ways you can get a hold of the show, we got a great mayhem show app wms gold on your mayhem i'm sorry on your ios store newly updated ios store and uh, uh, uh amazon app store for your android device Bam. quick access to all the episodes uh of the mayhem oh. show proper what don't show that don't show that one oh it, okay it crashes sometimes on the android a lot of things did you just show me dick um yes i did okay. but uh also uh contact you pull it up there and i got